Starting off with question 8, we jump into our measurements. We have been given a square based prism with x, x and h as our dimensions. And we need to determine the height of the tank in terms of x. And we are going to be utilizing this formula they gave us to do that. The area of the base multiplied by the area of the height. So the base of our square base prism is the square at the bottom here. And the height of our prism is just this height that goes up and down over here. So we're going to fill the volume in. The volume is 490. So we're going to fill that into volumes place. The area of the base, we just say length times breadth. So it's x times x. So the area of the base is simply x squared. And I'll multiply that by the height. Now, if I need to determine the height, it means get the height on its own. So I want to get rid of this x squared. We're going to accomplish that by dividing both sides by x squared. They cancel over here. And I'm left with an expression for my height to be 490 over x squared. And then I'm done. I've successfully answered the question. And your two marks are earned from substitution as well as the correct answer. Next up, we need to show that the external surface area of the tank is given by the following complicated formula. So I kind of ignore this formula. We've got to show how they get it. As you see, they say show there. So if I look at this tank, they said it's an open tank. So we're not going to consider the top face. So we've only got five faces to worry about. We've got to worry about the square at the bottom, this blue oak. And then we've got four side rectangles. We've got this rectangle here on the side, this one on the other side, and then we've got the front one, and we've got the back one. Luckily, these four rectangles have the exact same dimensions because the bottom is a square. So the length and the breadth of each rectangle is the same, so I can just say four times one rectangle. Okay, so the area of a square is just length times length. The area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So if we had to formulate our area equation, the area of this blue squared will be x times x, which is just x squared. And then I'm going to say plus 4, because I want 4 rectangles. And then I'm going to do length times breadth of the rectangles. Now for orange rectangle, the length is x. And sort of the breadth is this over here. It's the height. But in the previous question, we said that the height is equal to 490 over x squared. So the length of the rectangle is that, and the breadth of the rectangle is that. Now we're going to focus our attention towards simplifying this mess. So the first thing I do to cope with my algebraic fractions here is put this x over 1, and then this x will cancel with one of those x's, and I'm just left with 490 over x now. And then I put this 4 over 1, 4 times 490 will give me that 1960 they have over there. And then I just wrap that in a set of brackets with the centimeters squared on the outside. And now I've successfully shown where this came from. And lastly, wrapping this question up, you get one mark for the area of the blue base and one mark for the area of your rectangles. In question 8.3, We've been asked to calculate the total external surface area of the tank if we are given that the tank is 10 centimeters high. So what they've actually given us is this h over here that told us this h is 10 centimeters. So we can put that h in there, we can replace this with 10 and work out x, put it into this area expression and then it's going to pop out our answer. So let's go ahead and start nitpicking this. Okay, so we're going to make the necessary replacement, swap h for 10, and we get 10 equals 490 over x squared. Now we're going to swap the 10 and the x squared so that we start the process of getting x by itself. So after we make that swap, 490 divided by 10 is simply just 49. And then I need to get rid of the square on x. So the opposite of a square is a square root. So I'm going to square root both sides, and I get x to be 7 centimeters. Okay, we're going to come chuck that into this x and this x, just like this. And then that's going to spit out our answer of 329 centimeters squared. 
Just remember, check with the doctor, uncle calculator to help you out of that one. You see, it gives me three to nine, three to nine, my bro. And our four marks come from the following steps. Substitution, manipulation, and your answer for X, as well as the total external surface area.